Famed novelist Paul Sheldon is the author of a successful series of Victorian romance novels featuring a character named Misery Chastain. Wanting to focus on more serious stories, he writes a manuscript for a new novel that he hopes will launch his post-misery career. While traveling from Silver Creek, Colorado to his home in New York City, Paul is caught in a blizzard and gets into an accident, rendering him unconscious. A nurse named Annie Wilkes finds him and brings him to a remote home. Paul regains consciousness and finds himself bedridden with broken legs and a dislocated shoulder. Annie claims to be his number one fan and talks at length about him and his novels. Out of gratitude, Paul lets her read his new manuscript. She is angered by the profanity in his new work, disturbing him, but apologizes. When she reads the latest Misery novel and discovers that Misery dies at the end, she flies into a rage, revealing to Paul that nobody knows where he is. Annie forces Paul to burn the only copy of his new manuscript. When he is well enough to get out of bed, she forces him to begin writing a new novel titled Misery's Return, in which he brings the character back to life. One day, when Annie is away, Paul begins stockpiling his painkillers. He tries poisoning Annie during dinner by spiking her wine with crushed painkillers but fails after she accidentally knocks over her glass. He later finds a scrapbook of newspaper clippings about Annie's past. Annie was tried for the deaths of several infants in the hospital where she worked, but the trial collapsed due to lack of evidence. Annie had quoted lines from his misery novels during her trial. When Annie discovers that Paul has been sneaking out of his room, she breaks his ankles with a sledgehammer to prevent him from escaping again. The local sheriff, Buster, is investigating Paul's disappearance. Clues lead him to pay Annie a visit but she fatally shoots him when he finds Paul drugged in the basement. She then attempts to kill Paul in a murder-suicide. But Paul, concealing a can of lighter fluid in his pocket, convinces her to let him long enough to finish the novel in order to give misery back to the world. When the manuscript is done, Paul asks for a cigarette and champagne, to which Annie complies. When she returns, he sets the manuscript on fire. As Annie rushes to save it, Paul strikes her with the typewriter and they engage in a violent struggle, with Paul suffering a gunshot wound to the shoulder from her revolver. He trips her, causing her to hit her head on the typewriter, then crawls out of the room, but Annie attacks again. Paul grabs a metal doorstop and bashes her in the face, finally killing her. Eighteen months later, Paul, now walking with a cane, meets his agent, Marcia, in a restaurant in New York City. The two discuss his first post-misery novel, and Marcia tells him about the positive early buzz. Paul replies that he wrote the novel for himself as a way to help deal with the horrors of his captivity. Marcia asks if he would consider a non-fiction book about his captivity. But Paul, who suffers psychological trauma from the experience, declines. Paul then sees Annie approaching him, only to realize that he is hallucinating. In actuality, the figure he sees is a waitress, who tells Paul that she is his number one fan. Causing Paul to meekly reply, that's very sweet of you.